when I think of a fig, I typically think of the kids that live on the floor with me, but also the kids I had the opportunity to be in a class with. Um, in terms of like the fig life, usually we all share the same interests and maybe have the same career driven path. But I think what really makes a fig unique is the ability for all of us to come together and grow on the same exact floor and get to interact with each other while um, developing new interests in our career and field. Um, I think of it as essentially an opportunity for incoming freshmen to kind of have that group, friend group essentially established. Um, I know for me, you know, coming to UW as a freshman, um, I'm one of three individuals from my high school who went here, the others, uh, they went to their own separate things. But regardless though, um, I, you know, wanted to meet people inside my major and all that. So I chose the fig that, you know, best suited my interests. Um, for me, it was the geology fig. So, you know, we were all super close with each other. Um, you know, I have a lot of fond memories of freshman year and it's all of, all of my fond memories of freshman year are with that group. Um, I'm still friends with that group. Um, I mean, you know, to this day, I'm still seeing them when I can, um, both, you know, because I'm an RA now, so my timeline is obviously limited. But the fact remains is, you know, I still give my all, you know, seeing the original FIG members of those who are still at UW. You know, it's great seeing residents having that automatic friend group. That way there isn't you know, awkward groups basically hanging around in the lounges. It's people already knowing each other a little bit. They already have their class together. Um, on, it's a fantastic way for, you know, incoming freshmen to meet people, make friends, and, you know, hopefully make those long-lasting friendships, basically. To me, FIG means having a floor that they can bond with first over academics, and then it can get more personal and then they can foster friendships within their first few months here, which is definitely critical for any student success um, at any university. And personally, I've noticed that when my residents are able to talk about their classes, professors, and help each other out with tutoring, read over each other's essays, then it helps build that foundation where they get to know each other and then it can get more personal where they're able to also rely on each other for emotional support besides just academic. Hi there, my name is Maggie Bork and I am a lecturer in the Haub School of Environment and Natural Resources. And for the last 10 years, I've been a faculty sponsor of a freshman interest group or FIG. Um, and that is focused on environment and natural resources and is open to any interested student um, of the incoming first year class. Um, what FIGs mean to me are an opportunity to really build lasting relationships that are structured and connected to the student as a whole person. And I think that um, one of the most powerful things and powerful experiences about teaching a class that is um, directly associated with uh, one of the figs, this first year seminar called Thinking Like a Mountain. Um, all of the students in that class are part of the living and learning community of the fig, as well as in the class. And what that allows us to do is to create relationships that go beyond the academic, but are ultimately grounded in their learning and in themselves as people and us all getting to know one another, getting to know the place of Laramie and Southeastern Wyoming, and getting to explore these big questions of environment and natural resources together in ways that let students go into their next steps, onto their second semester, into their sophomore year, with a, both a sense of community and a sense of identity um, that they're forming alongside their peers and with me as a faculty member. Well, so besides like being in class together, um, We've done a couple activities where we've explored the nursing program and done an interactive um, building tour, but also as a floor, we have a lot of movie nights. So oftentimes, sometimes you can find people sleeping in the fishbowl at 2 a.m., maybe watching a movie. Probably the best memories are our Among Us games that go on for hours. So my favorite fig, um, fig experience, fig 
hangout group sesh um, is, oh, that's, there's a few, but I think the one that I'll come down to is um, the field trips. Um, but it's just the idea of, you know, being with our professor, being with the other students, also being with professors um, who I've had classes with now. They were professors for upper division classes, and I met them as a freshman, and now I'm their student. Um, and just that transition and the interaction, seeing them versus freshman versus professor, that's a whole other conversation, but, you know, totally fantastic. Um, but yeah, I just like the idea of, you know, we're all hopping in a car, we're driving to our next stop, and then, you know, talking a little bit about it, and then, you know, kind of move on to the next, grabbing lunch together, and then just a bunch of, you know, small little activities. Um, and then we get back, you know, right in time for dinner, and then we all go grab dinner together. So it's a, it's a broad, we'll say experience, but that's how each of the field trips was. It was kind of rinse and repeat that design, but I loved that design. So to me, it made no difference. Some students on my floor can't afford the textbook for some classes. And there's so many people on the floor that offered their own textbooks, study materials that they're able to afford. And it's just really nice to see that people are willing to step up and help each other out, especially with classes. And especially since this is a really difficult time right now for a lot of freshmen where they're adjusting to college life as well as college classes. And seeing them just help each other out is definitely one of the best parts of being a fig RA and one of the most amazing experiences I think any RA can witness. And last year, I think on more on the fun side, we held, my floor partner and I held an event where we invited UWPD to come and talk to the residents. And that was a really fun experience as an RA and with the FIG because they were able to ask the officer questions about the job, how they got it, what they like, what they dislike. And it allowed a lot of residents to kind of reignite their passion for why they wanted to be criminal justice majors in the first place. And I even had some residents pop in that weren't necessarily part of the FIG, but also asked questions. And it kind of started having gears roll in their head for what they wanted to potentially do in the future. And they just got ideas from that. So that was a really fun experience to have we go for a field week for the week before classes begin and the place that those students are in when we're starting is so different from where they are at the end when typically we have a meal that we share at my home um, and we really get to kind of connect across this enormous period of growth in the first semester of their time at UW. Um, and then we have a peer mentor program for students who have participated as a student um, in their first year in their living and learning community with Thinking Like a Mountain. Um, they come back as peer mentors, both for the field week as well as throughout the semester and beyond. So seeing those students through from their very first moments on campus officially as a student at UW um, through to their graduation and beyond is just an incredible gift. And I think the power of those relationships that are formed in place in these shared spaces that we have both on campus and beyond, um, that's really what makes a living and learning community special.